What up, y'all? <clears throat> Uh, so today we're going to go over a video of, uh, Uncle Ted Nugent on Joe Rogan that I've seen gone viral again recently. And we're going to talk about what the things he says in the video. I want to kill the most things, be a vegan. Because the farmers who protect your beans kill everything. I kill one animal per arrow. Okay, so let's see what the first thing he said. Uh, the animals who protect your beans kill everything. Um, <clears throat> the overwhelming majority of soybeans grown in the USA goes towards cattle feed. So... Um, I'm not really sure where where Uncle Nugent is getting this from because um, you need, in order to feed a human one pound of vegetables, all you need is, you know, so much ground. But in order to make one pound of meat from a cow, it takes like 16 times as much plant material. So if you're having to grow all these plants to feed all your cows, um, you're not killing the most animals by being a vegan at all. But Ted is arguing this from a hunter's standpoint, which Ted is a hunter, um, which he is probably 0.001% of um, the population that is hunting. Um, all this video is super viral right now and, and people keep tagging me, me in it and sending it to me as if it is an, a, a legitimate argue, <clears throat> argument for their own meat consumption and dairy consumption, um, which is totally isn't because Ted's talking about it, his personal experience being a bow hunter and how he kills animals and of course, Ted, Uncle Ted, absolutely is in um, is in his, his uh, a correct position to be saying something like this, and I don't even a hundred percent agree disagree with what Ted does. I believe every person who eats meat should go out into the field and risk, um, you know, physical combat with an animal. I definitely, uh, I I definitely back that. In order to grow to. But 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 that's Ted and do Ted doing what he's doing, not you and what you're doing. So this argument Fu, doesn't work you have for to you. Kill every ground squirrel, every vole, every shrew, every snake, every turtle, every frog. Okay, well that is definitely not true. You don't have to kill all of these animals, and most of these animals aren't in um, someone's garden. Anyway, so it's a little bit. He's he's definitely going a little bit overboard and um with with his statement every here. Every bird, every rabbit, every anything bird that... that flies by, you have to kill it in order to grow plants. Not sure that's accurate. Gets in that bean field. I'm either going to plow and dismember, which is why the crows and the and the seagulls oh, follow the the. Uh... No, seagulls follow fishing boats because they're cleaning the fish afterwards and throwing them overboard. You're getting confused. Um, plowing field. Uh, if you're plowing the same field over and over again. The animals aren't coming, you know, like, like, sure, uh, some, some will invade, but every time you plow, you aren't killing every single animal in that field. Ted's just being r uh, ridiculous. The combines over here. And then if anything does survive my first slaughter, I'm going to come in with Monsanto and poison the shit. Okay, well, that, that's not absolutely, that's a blanketing general, generalization. Um... You know, all, all your cattle feed is GMO bullshit. Um, so this isn't an argue, argument for you carnivore meat eaters trying to rub this in my face in some way. It's absolute, absolute BS argument. Not everything. So you can have a tofu salad. And no, no, Uncle Ted. So y'all can have all your meat and dairy products. 
all those beans, the majority of those beans, sorry, not all, the majority of those beans go towards cattle feed. That's the one thing you guys all fail to, 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 to include in this story you guys like repeating. Not be responsible for any death. Fuck. And here's another thing. Um, uh, most non-vegans think that vegans are claiming they don't cause any death in the world. And there's not a single vegan that is of sane mind that thinks that they don't kill bugs when they drive down the street or that the plowing of the field, that no animals are, are plowed, are killed in the plowing of the fields that make their vegetables. Every vegan understands they're a bo there's a body count for their existence. There's bacteria and all, all kinds of stuff that dies because we exist. So it's pretty disingenuous for you guys all to, you know, use the, these types of arguments instead of solid arguments that actually prove your points and your claims. You have to create these false arguments and, um, you know, act as if they're, they're logically sound. So, and of course this is, I'm finding it now on a Hunter Unlimited, you know, and like that, it's perfectly fine if you're a hunter, you know, as long as, um, you're sustainably hunting and you're going out there and risking your life. I, I prefer, preferably, I'd rather you not have a gun. I, I think you should have to go in there with a knife and actually fight the animal, but whatever. That's, it's not, um, I'm not trying to control anyone. You. That's a really good point. Now. So no, fuck you, Ted. You're full of shit. <laughs> oh, with all due respect, I appreciate Ted for certain things, but this, this one he's completely wrong on. Um, and it's funny because Joe says that's a really Whoa. good point that a lot of people ignore. <laughs> that a lot of people ignore because it's not a real point for a lot of people. It's only a point for Ted if he's being true to himself and only eats meat that he kills, which I don't think there's many people on this planet, um, or at least in this country, that kill 100% of the meat they eat. I guarantee Uncle Ted eats some GMO meat probably several times a week, as well as Joe. Um, these guys in there, the guy, these guys speak in ideals. They wish they were doing these things and they wish they only ate the meat they hunted. And, and, you know, I got people telling me all the time, Oh, I, I grow my own cows and goats and all this stuff. And it's like, dude, you live in Chicago. What are you talking about? No, you don't. Or, Oh, I get my food from the Amish. No, you don't. You get your food from everywhere else everywhere we all get our food from um so you know it's it's really arrogant and naive for for ted to or, or for people to think ted's fine saying this whatever but for people to think that this is some sort of dig against vegans um that he's absolutely incorrect all those beans go towards your cows and your cows your food requires far more plant material um, than a vegan's food. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace.